Okay, this is my first time to play Panda Blitz and the first game and I play with uh, backside and I choose uh, French defense, so I will play knife six here. I think my opponent will play e5 or bishop g5 here. Yeah, this is a move. And I will take the e4 pawn. Bishop e7. This is a uh, more nine, I guess. And I will take it with a g6 axis. <clears throat> and f5. Okay, b6, I guess. I think I played this line like uh, four years ago or five years ago. Okay, let's go for 97 and maybe put my knight on f6. And knight f6. I have double pawn on f file, but I have a pair of bishops. Queen D2. Let's try this Queen D6. My plan is going to like castle long, maybe H5. Or knight if I just stop my castle. So All right now I think I can play safe right here. Let's try, can I play h5 here? Actually, I don't know exactly, maybe just go for this. Bishop F3. This move is so, so interesting. Okay, I would just take it. And H4. My king is still in the center, but I think it's uh, okay for me. Okay, this move. Okay, I will just trade my thing. And I open this file. Okay, I like to play that before first and I'll take the safe I pawn. I 
because I have the bishop c5 and sometimes I can play check and attack the f2 pawn. Actually, I think I can also check first. If knight g3 and I can play f4, maybe what should go back and I take this pawn. Now, why should I play 94 or this 94? I don't know, but it's quite dangerous for white. We'll play castle. And next move is e5. Just as to open this diagonal. Oops. Okay, I think I can play e4, e5 here. It's hard to defense right now. A good start. Okay, and uh, I will try another one. Okay, go for this one. Oops. I think uh, my opponent is so fine, I guess. So maybe choose another one. Okay, let's go for this one. This is three plus zero. And E6 again. D5, probably E5 or 92 here. Okay, 92 and I just think. And Bishop D7. Advance, go to Bishop C6 and just frame my Knight Bishop in this opening. Ninety-seven. Okay, he played quite solid. Okay, just trick the pieces, and I'm very glad to exchange my knight bishop. And number six. Rook H4. Quite interesting. Maybe he wants to attack my king side, but I go. Okay, I play bishop E7. Rook H3. Okay, we just go castle and I uh, will go save by for next. Okay. Is there any attack? Save fi and bishop g5, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try for G6 and be safe. I don't know if G6 is a good move or not. That is. Okay, I will play C5 for next. Or Queen D5 and Rook A8, like this. Okay, Bishop G5, I think right now I can play C5 and if I play and take. So what should I do? Uh, 
<clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try 95 here. Oops, this is a blunder and I can play not FC. Uh, oh, sorry. This position is quite uncomfortable for white because uh, it's under pieces. Okay, save file and open a file for my rook. Oh, he can play d5 actually. Okay, let's go for queen f6. Actually, I can just take this pawn. If we can trade my two rooks, but I attack the f3 and b2. So we can pinch seven. Let's go to this one. Take the pawn. Go for this one. This one must be very interesting. Now three. Okay, go for Spanish. Now G seven. Okay, just go for six three. D5, if I take this point, if you take this. Hmm. Quite interesting. Let's just take it. Go for castle. Passing he will attack my king and like the queen h4 sometimes. Actually, I I think maybe I made some mistake in the opening because uh, it's quite interesting opening and uh, I should check it later. But it's okay. Like, okay, I play p1 here. Probably he can just cancel, yeah. Can sacrifice this point and the bishop f5. Oh. Should I do here? Quite weird. <clears throat> okay, let's just go for this day one. I should have developed my pieces because I think this position is quite good for back. I will play 96. Okay, and he just take and uh, what should I would take? Okay, be sure. Probably just go back. Actually, I don't really like my position. I waste a lot of time. Quite dangerous. Cool. 
Can I just plug? Missing. Oh, you can play this one. What should I play here? Let's go for Queen's right here. I only have 29 seconds left, so I should uh, play fast. Can I just take this? This way. Okay, this one is quite interesting. Oops, this is a good move actually. out of time, but I think it's a uh, quite interesting game. Okay, let's go for this one. Another white side. Okay, let's go for three, four first. E6, C3. E4. C6. Maybe my opponent try to play Simitara. No, no, Simitara, I guess. Or he can also take the pawn here. <laughs> Two. I don't know. I think maybe I mix some stuff, but it's okay. Okay, just continue this. Um, black has a pawn up, but uh, the structure is okay for white. Like, um, this piece is, is just some development. So there I will go queen c2. Okay, go for this and push uh, for take. Okay, I'll try to beat c3 and I will play e4 for some moment. <clears throat> queen c2 first and the rook at b1, I guess. Knight is five. Okay, nice sister. Okay. 
Let's try B. Should that's me first? I think I should uh, mm, do some stuff with my dark visual. Can we just take? Yeah, I have to take. Let's go back. Try to go for this. Probably like uh, look at you at some point. Right now I can play, I'm gonna play E4 first. Oops, okay, just miss this one. Okay, let's attack the first. Can I go for this? Yeah. I think I take up to ten. Let's go for this. And he can go this. I think I should play OK5 instead of OK. Should I do this? Oops, out of time again, I should play. I think I should play some like three plus two. Okay, and uh, go for some three plus two, okay. E6, and one more French. Six. Bishop D5 again. Bishop D7. Take five. Let's go for this. Hmm, three plus two is much better. And uh, my plan is like to should be seven, I guess. He can cast a long. Remember that uh, this is a uh, quite proper man. He'll play d5 sometimes. Mm.
by queen d6 and he will play d5 so let's go for c6 Maybe he can try some queen h6. Okay, knight f5, immediately. Okay, I'll go train my knight here. My plan is also castle long. And uh, f4 here. So if I go knight f6 and my f7 is unprotected, so should I trade it? Let's go straight. And H five first. This position, I like to say, I have to frame my left bishop. My plan is like go for h4 and uh, d8 sometimes. Okay. No, he gives new chance to castle long. Should I castle? Not. Probably just stay here. Okay. Let's go for this. Should I find a straight? Rook G8, yes. Probably I can play Rook G4 for the next. I'm not sure. But uh, I can also play Bishop C5. Actually, I can play a6, I guess. a6 and the c5. 6 can try. Let's go for this. Play c5 then. Okay, let's go for this. Let's go for this. Maybe he can just go for this. But I think this position is quite comfortable for me. And I will put d5. Probably next move is go for c4 and open this bishop to go there. Should be two. It's hard to understand this, but probably G3. <clears throat> Let's just free this double point. If they take and uh, this ball is B2 yes. under attack. Okay, let's go for B7. I think this position is quite good for black because I have the two bishops and the file opened. Knight G1. Okay. Okay, just bishop D5. D5. 
Take, take. Now I also attack the H two and F seven line. Oops, what is bounded? Check right again. Okay, so next one. Three plus two. Okay, let's try three plus two. The first day four games for today. Okay, nine of six. Okay, I'll try Brownfield. Could be two. Well. What's his move? You can just take. Probably I can just go for knife or bishop is six. Okay, let's go for safe five. Let's just take one. And knife is six. I think it's quite unpleasant for white right now because a day for points under attack. Mm, I can play knight e5, but I'm not sure if I can just take the pawn. Take it. So So I would like to keep my bishop on the board, so bishop f5. White can also play like f3. F3, anything F2. Sometimes he can also attack. Play G4 to attack my bishop. Probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's just go back to exchange the bishop because I want to exchange the rooks and open the file for my rook. Go where he can just go back or and just take it. Okay, take. 
I'm going to take and take and D8 because I already have power of OK, just A6. Or the way to play. <clears throat> then create for my night. Okay, another game. Um, let's play some three plus two, yes. Okay, go for this. E4. C5 is in the three. D6, okay, just go. We should be fine. This is quite slow. Okay. So. And this position. I think always have like C4 or C3 to plan for Y. Okay, let's go first. Four. Four. Oh, he's going to ninety four, I guess. Let's play F3. I think I made a mistake. I think you can play this 94. And right now he's going to take take and d5. Yes. Let's go for a question one.
because uh, it's right side in knight takes d4, bishop d4, and b5 here. Probably I can play e5 because uh, I know I take and bishop b5. Oh, he can also play queen a7. I'm sure this is okay for him or not because, oh, no, because uh, the b5 points under protect. So he goes this one. Okay, just go for rook c1. Okay. Go for e5 now. Quite interesting position. Take each one. Eight. Just get the pawn. Okay, just take. Take. I think there is no tactics in this position. Queen F2. Okay, just keep safe. Here. Probably just develop my pawn because I already have a two pawns on the queen side. Four. Treat, treat, treat. Okay, let's go for ninety five here. Yeah. I have a lot of uh, that, like I can go take and bishop c7. Ninety five. Okay, take. I check and F6. It's okay. F6 and I just go back. It's hard for back, I guess. And now I'm going to attack the d5 and e6. Okay. Try to d4. And play queen f5 again. Let's just go for it. Okay. And I should play Queen C5. <clears throat> okay.
Okay. It's quite interesting game, but I just lost in time. And uh, okay, go for it. If one more session. Then. I really should play fast. I think I can go for D1 here. And four. This position is quite similar with the last one. Mm. What should I do here? Which one do I see here? Okay, let's go for this. Six. I'm going to play B3 and B3, I guess. Here. Yeah. Go for Paris. Play. I like this structure for the white side. Can I play this one? Quite good. Take. I can just take this. Ready to play. I think uh, rook on c1 and the knight on c3 and the knight d5 is uh, quite popular in this kind of position. Knight e4 here. I can just take. Yes. D5. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting.
folks. <laughs> I think this can be so good. Okay, go for three questions. Okay, the first game I played D4, I guess. C4. C5, okay, take. G3. G2. This is a very popular line, I think, because there are so many top players who play this. And so I'm going. I should play it. Let's go for this. D4 immediately. I'm going to play knight b2 and to attack the default pool. I'm wondering the back side, maybe he can play queen d7. I don't know why he didn't take this pawn, the knight take it's a five pawn. Okay, let's just go for this. Queen d5, I can't take because bishop d2. So, what should I do? Let's protect. Let's go for ninety one. I already have a pawns up. And if it takes and I take, they can go knight of four. Then go for this. So let's think about what I do. Take. I try something like a three. Okay, go for a three. B four, come back to my pawns. The problem is my problem is like my a4 knight is out of uh, game, so I should transfer. Okay, let's go for another six, another four.
Um, I'm swinging like this way, but next more, I guess. Probably box. I don't know. Can I still play F6 here? Oh, no, no, F6. This is F3. I think I can play F3. Take, take, and top my thing. This is a three plus two. I think I can go. Three is coming. Okay, three. Okay, let's just go for this. Just go back. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. Go back. Okay, and for the next one. I think you guys um, should challenge me like three plus two is much better. But okay, this time I'll do a lot of uh, three plus zero. Let's go for this one. D4 again, one failed, I guess. Probably, okay, G6. Quite solid. Try this. I think this one is transferred to a C and G3 line. Okay. Let's go from IP8. B4. For A5, I want to transform a knight to C5 square. Oh, you can play C5 actually. Probably Queen D2 and King H7, C5. I think I should play Knight as okay. I, I have to play Knight 6 My plan is like uh, King H7, Knight of D7, and C5. F5, probably. A3. Okay, let's finish them. Okay. 
me see two. If wise to want to play b4, I think a rook should be on the b1 square. I'm not afraid of like B5 stuff. I always have B6 and I know I'm ready to play some knight E4 or F5. Probably I can play knight E4 instead of a bishop 7 I think he should go back. If he gives up this bishop, it's quite hard. I can just take and yeah. I'm wondering maybe next move I will play f4 here. Quite interesting. A4 and G5. Knight of six, go back. Actually, what can just take? Because I take, 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 and an Irish four. My king is on this beam. Knight H4 immediately. Also playable. Let's go for this. I don't want to play. 64. No, two. It's going to play B4, I guess. But what should I do here? Let's go. Queen f6. Fish h3 again. Nice. I just developed my pieces. C5. It's okay for me. Go back and just go back. I don't think this point is uh, very important. So let's go for this. It's quite an interesting game. And okay, let's go for this one. Before this is again, there are a lot of uh, sitting games today, and the first time it's a six. Okay, let's try for D4 and take. 
Picture of safe and just go back. Picture of is seven. I'm wondering if I can play queen d4 here. I think I can play queen d4 here. Probably king f8 or g6. Because in this position, if you play king f8, you can play h5, yeah. This is the type of thing in this uh, opening. Okay, let's just go back. And I'm going to trade this bishop. I think this bishop is quite dangerous for me. Let's go for this. Because my knight bishop is much better than this one. So, b6. Oh, the king is already on the f8, and he just play b6, and I will play the four. Two. Five again. Let's go for four. You can play in out of six, I think. I'm quite happy to have this position. Let me just go for a new try. Queen F2. <clears throat> I think he has to go back. He just missed this one. Go from CD one. Okay, let's open some lines for my light bishop. Just take. Right now, I can also play e5. Let's go for f5. I'm going to play bishop c4 for the next move. And I think it's hard to defend this style move. So I have my c5. Go for bishop c4 first. I say five. Quite hard for him. Now I'm going to pieces.
So they can play Queen E3. Okay, let's open just one file. Checkmate and okay, one more. So, before one more system, okay, everyone loves system. And uh, oh, the same opening as the last time, okay. Oops. Safe. Probably I should play Queen E2. I don't know. Because I think the safe for play is so like Bishop sometimes on E2. He can play knight c6 in the knight e5, or he can also play bishop d6 sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's take this. Knight c3, queen e5, I guess. I don't really like my position because my bishop is on d3 is quite weird. And my opponents, yeah, play it uh, quite well. And, okay, I think I can just release. I have a chance to play knight of four here. Six. Okay. I can't take this. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. Save five. I should open the file. I should open the diagonal for my bishop. Okay. Get because he already played h5, he, I think he can castle. Yeah, that's right. He played this before. Six. Go for it. Take take out of one. Let's try. I don't know if it works.
take, take, take 94. Oops, this is quite good. Okay. Oh, yeah, you played quite well actually. I just missed this one. Ooh. And I'm also in time trouble again. <laughs> Oh, okay, I think it's time for the last one, I guess. And I think, I think there are a lot of players I played before, so choose the one I didn't play before. Okay, this one. Before or before? Oh, this one is uh, offline. Okay. Another. Don't play. Okay, go for this one. This is three plus two. E4. Okay, try E6 again. This is my memo for today. I played this before, I guess. And Bishop D3, 97, I guess. If, okay, 97, the same way. Oh. I think. You can also go back to g3. This is a main line, I guess. Okay, take. The same way as the uh, last player play. Bishop to five. Last time my opponent played rook h4. Okay, bishop b7. I think for this type of position, black always want to play c5. So let's see what happened. Place it by here. Okay, I think I will play H6 first and see what happens. Say five or C6? I think C6 in such position is also playable. Try to play. I saw it. Let's go for a five. A four. Okay, okay. Trick my 
my knife. Try to make it sharp. Probably he can just trade and the queens take and take and he can play safer because my queen's on his bin and he can play. Yeah, he can play d5. Play c4, I should, I think I should play knight f4 first. Because if I play knight b4, he can play d5. Now if I quite logic. Let's just go for rotating it. Hmm. Okay, play very slowly. Should I do Queen C7, square field. Queen C7 for next move. You can't play rook D3, I have knight F4. Knight D3, okay. Queen C7. Nice and nice for this. Or he can go back. He can also go for my e4. I don't know if I have e5, but e5, and he can just go back. I take and he has rook queen eight. Ninety three again. Go for rook field. The structure for both sides is quite solid. So okay, well I can't play King F8 because he has um, 97 here. So I play rook B7 here. Well, we can play f6. No, I don't want to play f6. Okay, just can you ask it? Go for K7. Okay, one. Actually, my side is quite solid and uh, is, there is no more witness. I can't play B5 because he can just take it. Let's go for King D6. Oops. Oh, so sorry. And he just lost a time. And uh, I think this is all 
Oh, I played and it's quite interesting because this is my first time to play Bentley's and it's a quite a memorable experience for me. And thanks you guys and goodbye. Hi everyone, welcome to our new video series. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm thrilled to be reunited with fellow Magnus Carlsen's trainers, seconds, Peter Heine Nielsen, Magnus Carlsen's head coach, and Laurent Fressinet, Magnus Carlsen's French coach, are both here, and we will be going through the World Championship match 2021. Our experiences with it, the games, what we prepared, where we felt things went well, where we felt things didn't go well. Peter, we have different perspectives because we were in different locations. Very much. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about it because you were in Thailand during all the match and I was in Dubai with the Magnus and the you know, his non-chess team. So I see some kind of debriefing where we will discuss what was the mood in Dubai, what was happening in the technical department in Thailand. And we got to sort of basically compare notes and uh, yeah, get the two kind of inside looks uh, from the match. Very much so. And Laurent, we are actually in your private home. Thanks for having us. It's a big pleasure to, to welcome both of you and I'm sure it will be interesting to talk to you again about the match. Likewise. So we hope you guys enjoy the series with our behind-the-scenes insights. <laughs> See you then. <laughs>